the expression getting radical, you know, it was a skateboarding thing. It came from skateboarding, and skateboarding is where I came from. This is where it all began. Kenter Canyon Schoolyard was my favorite place, but I actually went to this school, so this was like my playground. Getting radical, that's where I learned what it meant. That's where it developed. That's what the terminology was, right? It was from surfing, and everyone skateboarding was just trying to emulate their surfing at the time. It was inconceivable to any adult what the fuck we were doing. It was really our own thing, and to be honest, my whole life, that's how it's fucking been. We were like this particular group of kids, these, you know, outcasts. And one day I just thought, I gotta start taking pictures of this. Something is going on here. I started taking pictures just with this plastic pocket camera because I could fit it in my back pocket and because I could still skateboard, right? Because, I mean, I wanted to skate. That's what was important to me. I remember skateboarding in pools, you know? The first goal was, first of all, to find a pool. You know, it wasn't, people didn't know what the fuck you were doing. They were just like scared. They're like, what the fuck are you doing in my backyard? What are you gonna do to my swimming pool? You're gonna break it. I found this pool one day, a backyard pool. Some kid at school was talking to another kid and saying his, you know, the house was empty. They were doing construction. And so I called up a couple of these guys. I called Jay Adams and Paul Constantino and a couple other friends, and I said, I found this pool. And you know, if you find a pool, you're a fucking hero. You are the fucking man for that weekend. And I also said, I borrowed a regular camera. I borrowed a real camera, you know, a 35 millimeter camera with a particular lens that I thought would do good, the widest angle lens the guy had. But these are both taken the same day at this pool. I shot one roll of black and white film and one roll of color slide film. You know, Jay starts doing things that no one had ever done in a pool before. And here's Paul Constantino. And here's me, my shadow, my, you know, 14-year-old self. This is the kiss of death to most photographers who with any self-respect. You don't have yourself in the photo. You don't have your own shadow in the photo. That's kind of retarded. And six months later, I borrowed this camera, and photos I took this day got published. I can't tell you half the people that asked me about this picture back then were like, how did he make that? Well, if you rode that well, you knew there's no way he can make that. It's not being made, he's kicking the board out. But no one had done that before. In the summer of 77, Paul Constantino met some kid at a party who said he had a pool and he, no one used it and he knew that they skateboarded and so he said, why don't you ask your dad if we could empty the pool? And so they did. You know, everyone really starts to be able to practice and really hone their skills, you know, in a way like they hadn't been able to before. Well, Tony Alva specifically started flying out of the pool. And I happened to be there to capture it. This was the perfect day. This is the perfect photo. I mean, you know, just the lighting is beautiful. All the guys in the background, you see a bunch of the originals. You know, you see Stacy Peralt in the background, Arthur Lake, and the girlfriends hanging out, and Tony's cousin here taking a picture from inside the pool. He has the picture of me taking this photo. It's really special to me to see myself taking it, this little kid with the big bushy hair. You know, it was groundbreaking. It was really, it was a very important moment in time and it changed the sport.
it was, you know, it was a revolution in the sport. You know, this is where it went. You know, this is a vacant lot in Fort Lee, New Jersey, where I was living at the time. And the East Coast, they didn't have swimming pools. And in the rest of the country, in fact, there were very few round pools that people could skateboard in. So, you know, they saw what we were doing in the magazines and they tried to emulate it the best they could. And this is when skateboarding and skateboarders around the whole country started to all develop at the same time. After this boom period of the 70s, you know, skateboarding just changed so crazily. I mean, it became more commercial, it came, became more accepted. It was still a, a radical thing to do, but more and more people were doing it, which was great, because that was the goal. That's what we wanted. We wanted everyone to come and share this experience, this fucking intimate roller coaster ride that we controlled, skateboarding. <laughs> 